I'm going to show you how the chain adjusting mechanism works on this 2011 Honda CBR125R. It's going to be a handheld shot, so uh, bear with me, wait for the camera to focus. And uh, uh, between uh, sections of uh, good shots, it's going to be a little blurry. The chain needs to be adjusted so the chain sag doesn't exceed, say, uh, 35 millimeters. It's got to be between 25 and 35 millimeters measured from the lowest point of the sag to the highest point of it in the middle of the chain run. Just approximately, okay? So don't have to over overthink and over engineer this. And it doesn't really matter much whether the suspension is uh, compressed or not. It's perfectly fine when the bike is just parked like this. So for this adjustment, you're gonna need a 17 millimeter wrench with uh, preferably a six point socket, a torque wrench and a 25 millimeter, sorry, 22 millimeter socket. And I've got two of these small guys, 10 mils, 12 mils. You're gonna have to undo the nut or loosen the nut on the other side. This is the uh, head of the axle. The other side is the nut side, but this one is assembled together. The other side is completely taken apart. And uh, you don't have to completely take it apart. You just have to loosen it. And uh, when you do so, I just did it for demo purposes. You can see when the other side is completely taken apart, you can see spectacularly how much the chain can move up and down. You're gonna have to find a sweet spot uh, with the adjustment bolts where the chain sag is between the specified range. How do you do that? So first off, you loosen the nut on the other side. Come on over to the other side for a sec. Just about, just about that. Uh, maybe a little closer. Let's see how it looks from here. Yep, somewhat. Okay, so there was this biggie washer here on this side and this nut that was removed and uh, I got it this part of the adjustment mechanism out so uh, so it's easy to uh, see what's happening you have this part of the swing arm let's see something like that would be a tolerable shot on it and this closes off the end of the swing arm here and basically I'm gonna take the camera off now what you have here for adjustment mechanism looks and works like this this adjustment mechanism is pulling the rear axle back in the swing arm you have a play of about plus or minus half inch or so or plus or minus 12 millimeters or so and uh, how the adjustment is done is uh, basically these bolts these little adjustment bolts one of them is a 12 millimeter this one and the counter nut is uh, a 12 millimeter counter nut but basically this one does the work but you kind of need both so make sure you don't lose any of them what you have here is just almost there there you kind of get the idea how this bolt is uh, bracing against this square piece of metal that's closing off the end of the swing arm and as you advance this nut with your 12 millimeter wrench it's gonna be pulling the axle back in the slot in the uh, inside the swing arm so you're gonna have to adjust both of these nuts on both sides approximately half a turn or so or a quarter turn always always clockwise like so when uh, when you are uh, tightening a chain and because when I rotate it you can see that the axle is moving towards the end of the swing arm. Watch it. I hope that was visible, but if it wasn't, I will 
to redo it. Okay, so that's how this thing works. And I obviously took it apart and I'm gonna have to find the sweet spot where the chain slack is within the specified range. And uh, you have to make sure that the rear axle, this one, is uh, parallel or identical on both sides and for that you have these little lines here that you can see and are exposed when the washer is on and the nut is on you can still see some of those adjustment lines exposed so you have to make sure that the same number of lines are exposed to the same degree on left side and right side to make sure that your rear wheel is parallel with the front wheel and that your rear sprocket is perfectly in alignment with the front sprocket and so that alignment is uh, done by watching these reference lines on uh, the left and right uh, sides of the swing arm so that's basically how the adjustment mechanism looks like on a 2011 Honda CBR125 